So we're continuing to talk about reflection and refraction uh, and primarily talking about refraction and one of the things we did in the very first video is we sort of shown a laser on a block various blocks of plastic and they did various things and the one thing that I'm going to talk about right now is just sort of how light is going to go through some random block, some regular, some random triangular piece of plastic. And so we're going to say that this is plastic with uh, n equal to 1.6 and it's going to be surrounded by air with an index of refraction of approximately one. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a ray of light come down just a little bit something like uh, like that. So here is my laser that can burn a hole in the ozone layer. Now, when it strikes here, two things are going to happen. There's going to be a reflection and there's going to be a refraction. And so, what we, the first thing we need is we need a normal because all of our angles have to be measured off of normal. So we have to create a normal and I'm going to make it like this and I'm going to call this normal number one and so we're going to get an angle right here like this that is going to be 37.5 degrees And so, the very first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a reflection. That's also going to be 37.5 degrees off of normal. Some of the light waves are going to go out like this. And so we're going to call that reflection number one. And then what some of it is going to get refracted and that's where we need to do a little bit of calculation. We say n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2 and I'm going to leave you guys to show the manipulation of that but I'm going to say that theta 2 is going to be the sine inverse of n1 sine theta 1 divided by uh, n2 so I'm going to get theta 2 is equal to sine inverse of um, n1 it's 1 sine 37.5 degrees divided by 1.6. So theta 2 doing it out sine uh, 37.5 divided by 1.6 and I get 22.4 degrees. So, I'm going to measure 22.4 degrees off of that normal. It's going to be somewhere down like that. And so the ray of light is going to go right there. And so this is going to be 
22.4 degrees and so that's going to be my and so this is going to be a refraction number one now the thing that I want you to know is that it's a slight bend a lot of people have trouble figuring out how to measure this 22.4 degrees. They want to somehow measure, well they get messed up. But basically it's 37.5 degrees this way off of normal and then it's 22.4 degrees this way off of normal. So if, if I'm going clockwise off of normal then I want to go clockwise off of this normal. So some of the laser bounces that way, some of the laser undergoes a bend and now here's where I sort to of run into difficulties because um, I've sort of written all over the place. And so I've got a new normal right here. And so this is normal number two. And now I've got these small little angles here that lead to a lot of uh, difficulty. And I'm going to say that that... I'm going to say that's 11 degrees. So right in there, that little angle is 11 degrees. Well that means that some of the light is going to get bounced out, is going to reflect back at 11 degrees. So this is going to be reflection number two. And then we're going to have, um, if we do this, we're going to find uh, theta, so this is theta 1. Theta 1 is 37.5 degrees. Theta 2 is going to be 22.4 degrees. Theta 3 is going to be 11 degrees. Theta 4, well, theta 4 is going to be this index of refraction. Well, it's going to be the sine inverse of 1.6 times the sine of 11 degrees divided by the index of refraction of the outside material, which is 1. So I'm going to get sine inverse of 1.6 times the sine of 11 degrees. And I'm going to get 17.8 degrees. So theta 4 is 17.8 degrees. And again, so now it's coming in clockwise off, counterclockwise off of normal. So I want to now go clockwise or counterclockwise off of normal so uh, here I want to go out to 17 uh, 17 and somewhere in that neighborhood and so I'm going to have a ray of light that bends out and this here is 17.8 degrees and this is refraction number two. So very, very, very complicated diagram. If you kind of looked uh, at back at video one, you saw that very complicated things were happening. And I decided for, now again, here we have another bounce two things are going to happen here. There's going to be some refraction and there's going to be some reflection. 
Well, that reflection is probably going to go over here, and there's going to be some refraction there and some reflection there, but I'm not going to get into that. So, ray of light comes in, 37.5, some of it goes this way, some of it is refracted this way, some of it is reflected this way, some of it is refracted that way, and that's as far as I'm going with that video.